Management of CTFM CTTV has petitioned the National Media Commission over the alleged brutalization of one of its journalists, Caleb Kuda, in the custody of national security. It also wants the commission to investigate what it describes as a raid on its premises by armed operatives. Details of the petition, which we'll, we'll share with you shortly, is the latest in a series of fallout from the detention of the City FM TV journalist. Information Minister Kujopo Nkrumah was at the Accra-based media house Friday to commiserate with the staff. He called on the national security to conduct a thorough investigation into the alleged assault. As a colleague and as minister for the sector, I came by this morning to to pay you a visit and also to express to you the worry with which we received the account uh, as put out by Caleb and Zoe uh, on what transpired during this uh, interrogation at national security and we're worried because it does not reflect how staff of uh, a security agency should treat anybody be the person a citizen let alone a journalist if that person is under investigation or is assisting an investigation or is even suspected of having done something untoward, like in this case, uh, the suspicion of having, uh, you know, gone contrary to some of the rules and practices there, it still would not warrant um, conduct as is being reported by Caleb and um, uh, Zoe of what uh, transpired. And that's why we are um, worried. But we are also pleased to note that because this doesn't reflect how staff of an agency should work that's why the national security ministry itself has uh, launched an internal inquiry into the matter and our expectation is that that inquiry is not a perfunctory inquiry it's a serious inquiry that should get to the bottom of it and find out if indeed these allegations are true the persons who are responsible for it be held to account no ifs no buts um, there are many times when you find security agencies say they are investigating a matter and these investigations never end. But it is important that this investigation is seen through and the persons responsible, if these accounts are found to be true, are held to account. Um, but even beyond this, we in the ministry have been working to strengthen the National Media Commission, which is a constitutionally mandated body to, among other things, preserve the sanctity of media practice in this country. Uh, we've been working to strengthen the constitutionally mandated body to, among other things, preserve the sanctity of media practice in this country. Uh, we've been working to strengthen their outfit so that they can also independently deal with some of these matters. Uh, that's why quite recently we set up uh, a whole office dedicated uh, to this purpose. Over the holiday, I've had opportunity to speak to the chairman and to the executive secretary uh, that they need to take an interest in this matter. And indeed, the other reports as have come uh, forward and uh, do their inquiries and put forward the necessary recommendations that need to be uh, put out. Um, I know sometimes they like to wait for a complainant to come forward. But I believe that these are matters that they can take judicial notice of and engage with the parties and satisfy whatever technical requirements may exist. But it will be important that they take notice and get involved uh, and help us come to um, a certain terminal point. The information minister's visit comes on the back of a statement issued by National Security, the National Security Ministry on the detention of Caleb Kuda. General Manager of City FM TV, Bernard Avler, in a reaction to the statement, said he failed to speak to the main complaint. Problematic is that the statement also says that she said she would not come. But I think that, that was not a full story because she said she called back trying to speak to her superiors before coming and then they came here in the style. The statement is also not, doesn't say anything about the way they came to arrest her. It doesn't say anything about the man in which they came to arrest her. But the statement is I think it's, it's it doesn't do it for me. It, yes. it, it, I don't understand what they are saying, honestly. Mm -hmm. The treatment of Caleb was completely unwarranted overboard and illegal and the, the, the statement from the Ministry of National Security doesn't address it, doesn't begin to address the seriousness of what has happened in any way. Mm -hmm.